stay in the know with a look at tonight's other big headlines. Investigators are searching through the rubble of that helicopter that crashed on the top of a Manhattan skyscraper, hoping to find clues about what caused the deadly accident. The pilot, Tim McCormick, was experienced, but was not certified to fly in the rain and poor visibility in New York at the time of the crash. McCormick's family is calling him a hero, saying he landed on the skyscraper to protect people on the street below. The helicopter did not have a flight data recorder or a cockpit voice recorder, but may have had other instruments that recorded the flight. Tomorrow marks three years since one of the deadliest mass shootings in modern history. 49 people died when a gunman claiming allegiance to ISIS opened fire inside Orlando's Pulse nightclub. More than 600 churches around the world will ring their bells 49 times starting at noon. And a remembrance ceremony is planned for 7 o'clock outside the now-closed club. Baseball icon David Ortiz is now recovering at a hospital in Boston. His family released a statement saying his second surgery was successful. They said he's stable, awake, and resting comfortably. He is expected to remain in ICU for the next several days. Team USA kicked off the Women's World Cup with a bang, beating Thailand 13 to nothing. That's right, zip, zilch, nada. Orlando Pride's Alex Morgan brought in five of those goals. And in case you're wondering, the U.S. men's national team had 11 goals in the last four World Cups combined.